I am a proud partner of Car Marshall. If you are interested in a new or used car, please check out Car Marshall. Click on the link in my description box below. No credit check, no cosigner. That's Car Marshall. Two men named George Fitch and William Maloney attended a push cart derby in Jamaica and they thought that the sport looked like bobsledding. George Fitch and William Maloney was heavy into bobsledding and they felt that if they can mix Jamaican athleticism with bobsledding that they would definitely be successful. I mean of course, if they truly wanted the sport as bad as other countries, I definitely think that the Jamaicans can control bobsledding. I mean, we know how Jamaican sprinters get down. This plan was brought to the Olympic Association and they recruited athletes from the Jamaican Army. They brought in coaches from Austria and the United States. They had all the athletes and all the athleticism, but they still needed to learn the sport. They still needed to learn all the techniques that came with bobsledding. The men were at a huge disadvantage. Not only did they not know the sport, but they couldn't practice on the ice like everyone else. They also had the ball broke down, raggedy, beat up, and used training equipment. But these guys were fast learners and started grinding. The team was Freddie Powell, Dudley Stokes, Chris Stokes, Michael White, and Devin Harris. The men went from being in Jamaica training in 90 plus degree weather daily to all of a sudden being in Calgary dealing with temperatures below zero. In 1988 during the Olympic Games the men started off fast and they had a terrific pace going over 85 miles per hour. Dudley Stokes lost control of the sled and slammed it right into the wall. And at this point, they knew it was all over. With a guaranteed disqualification, they agreed to walk the rest of the race. And this is what made them superstars. people all around the track they will be there we're not going to speculate as to what's happened here we'll wait and find out um, 
Quinn, that was some kind of power coming off that outlet. The horizon. That's about 75, 73 miles an hour. And he's been having problems all along. And he had problems going into the corner. He hit, you know, he's trying to oversteer. And boy, those four mans, like I mentioned, once you get a four man in trouble, you're in deep trouble. You see people getting up, the crowd's cheering. You saw at the beginning of today's show, the opening, we discussed crashes. We pointed out that no matter how safe the course is, there are still crashes. But here at Calgary, in terms of design, they've tried to take most of the danger out of it. There are very safe turns and corners here. But that crash is an example of how inexperience coming onto any track can be dangerous. It is not a sport that you take up casually, that you just jump into the sled and go down on your own. There is a track, one of the best training courses in the world, is at Eagles Austria, a similar track here. Dudley Stokes, the Jamaican bobsled team, were there, they trained there. They've been on other tracks in the world, but still, it's very dangerous. You know, he's had a big fear factor in his mind. All week long, he's been leery about driving the sled. And again, Lynn, the two-man sled, you can get in and out of trouble on your own like a sports car. But when these big luxury vehicles, these four-mans come down, once you get a four-man in trouble, you can't bring it back out. Here's the replay. He gets in trouble right here. Now watch the straightaway. Now watch him start bouncing up. Look at the runners. He's trying to steer away from those walls at Dudley. You can't do that. Now the sled is just going anywhere it wants. And again, you can't do that. Now in the cries of the up and down, the wavering effect, this is he's still trying to correct himself. He can't. The four man's going where it wants to go. Now this is where I knew he was in trouble coming off the outlet. Watch this. There's nothing you can do to save it. This is disaster time. Oh, he boy. just drops off. John, you've been in crashes before. You know, talk about that a little bit. Well, when you're in a crash, you don't practice for a crash. The only thing you deal with is your athletic instinct. And your athletic instinct here, you're told to stay in the sled. Let the push bars act as roll bars. Boy, the way that sled's whipping around there, Lynn, I can't believe the four of them are getting up and walking away the way they are. Again, the safety of this track has just proven itself over and over. Look at them, they're smiling. You see all four, you see there, one in front of the sled. Two more directly behind the sled and behind the official, one of the Olympic officials. The fourth man is there. We are happy to see that the bobsled team is okay. They did not make it across the finish line, so they will not be racing in the fourth heat. And after that crash, I don't blame them for watching the rest of it.